seems like there is a war declared against us or something and to come against Christianity and against what we stand for. Stand for us when they stand against us. Speak over our souls these words. I am, I am your strong savior. Hear that tonight. Hear God saying it to us. I am your strong savior. Humiliate those who seek our harm and defeat them all. Frustrate their plans to defeat us and drive them back. Disgrace them all as they have devised their plans to disgrace us. Blow them away like dust in the wind with the angel of Almighty God driving them back with you. Make the road in front of them nothing but slippery darkness with the angels of the Lord behind them chasing them away. For though we did nothing wrong to them, they set a trap for us, wanting us to fall and fail. Surprise them with your ambush, Lord, and catch them in the very trap they set for us. Let them be the ones to fail and fall into destruction. Then our fears will dissolve into limitless joy. Our whole being will overflow with gladness because of your mighty deliverance. Everything inside of us will shout it out. There's no one like you, Lord. For look at how you protect the weak and the helpless from the strong and heartless who oppress them. Those words from David are our words tonight. And I believe that God is intervening. He's willing to fight for us and he's going to. And, and I'll read parts of it, but you can get it all, go online and get it all, if that's what you want. But hear this word um, just a couple of weeks ago, and we're going to pray it and pray into it as I, I give it. Holy Spirit said, Ecclesia, contend in faith as I harden the heart of your enemies. Now, I believe that we are in a season right now when like Pharaoh of old, when Moses came and said, you need to let God's people go, he began to harden his heart and God allowed him to harden his heart. It says in the King James Version that God uh, hardened his heart, but it, he allowed his heart to become hardened or more hardened is the way it should be really read. But I believe we're in a season where God is hardening the hearts of, his, of our enemies. Uh, enemies that say, no, we're not going to go your way. We're not going to let you go. We're not going to let you raise your kids how you want or whatever the case may be. And their heart is becoming harder and harder and harder. And these next three months, that is going to increase. God is harden, hardening their heart so he can bring them to destruction. Ecclesia, he said, contend in faith as I harden the heart of your enemies. Um, then he says... I will harden the hearts of your enemies for devastating defeat. Set your heart on what I say. Set your minds with now faith. That's what faith is. And I've taught that the last couple of weeks. Faith is now. Expecting to live in a promised place. That's what the children of Israel were doing when they left Egyptian bondage, they were expecting. They had a mindset of going to a promised place. We are to have that mindset as well. We're heading to a promised place. Move forward to new times and seasons that I have prepared for you. Move forward into reformation that I have planned for decades. That, I believe, started some 70 years ago. And reformation or reset is now planned. Move forward into positions of authority that I have ordained for you. In the next three months, 
the ecclesia, ecclesia's authority is going to rise to a different level. Move forward into harvest I have ripened for you. Move forward against giant strongholds I am uprooting and tearing down. I am planting new just as my prophets have told you. Move forward, pioneers, through dark wilderness and blaze the way for families to follow. Move forward, pioneers, and be pathfinders to milk and honey. That's great resources are planned to come our way. Open trails to new levels of glory. Yes, it's going to another level from glory to glory to glory. These are things Holy Spirit is preparing in us. Respond with me and reset history. That's what this era is all about. And that's what we're moving into, I believe, in the fall of this year, a reset of history. For no, says the Lord, the next three months, um, that's June, July, and August, very specific word, the next three months, of great anointing, uh, will, it will grow in great anointing for reformation to come rapidly. No, the next three months will be months of anointing to grow reformation rapidly. No, the next three months, the seeds of faith planted by my people with their decrees of faith that's why we make them every Wednesday night, but we need to do it more than that, but make decrees of faith. will accelerate to fullness, producing the fruit of the seed sown, and my people will enter new times, just like the children of Israel did. When they left Egyptian bondage, they were entering into a new time and a new place. Um, for yes, says the Lord, I am resetting lives. I am resetting the personal history for many. Many of you watching tonight in prayer, uh, this prayer time, your personal life is coming into a time of supernatural reset. God's doing things for you individually. I am resetting also, he said, I'm resetting the history of my ecclesia. Many churches that have been struggling and fighting the good fight of faith, you are moving into a time of resetting. Your history is being reset for a new time and a new place. Many apostolic leaders, prophetic leaders, pastors, you, you are moving into a new time and place. Resetting is occurring. These next three months, June, July, and August, our preparation times for this resetting to move into new times and places. And I am resetting uh, national history. America will be reset. So we're moving into a time when there's going to be a resetting of America's history. And remember what Dutch said at the hub concerning Gina's dream that we go back and we decree the forward, what was stated by our founding fathers. Restate the forward. Why? Because it's time to reset it. And we're going to pray that in just a moment. My world changers, changers are now being called to mobilize. And my promises are growing to fullness. What an awesome word God has given to us. And we need to be those that steward the prophetic words with our prayers and our decrees. That's really a strong emphasis for these Wednesday nights. Yes, we hear prophetic words, but we just can't hear them and just move on. We have to steward them, water them with our prayers water them with our decrees, cause them to grow, guard them from the enemy coming in and robbing us from them. And so I want to pray tonight for the decrees that 
the prophetic promises given to us at the hub on Friday and then Greg Hood's message to us on Sunday morning. Another one, if you did not hear that, I would encourage you uh, to hear that. If you want to hear the present word of the Lord, I believe this past weekend, Holy Spirit helped us to hear what he is saying presently to the church. I encourage you to listen to him uh, if you have not. Well, even if you have listened to him, listen to him again because you probably didn't get it all. I know I didn't. I have to hear those things again. So I want to pray tonight and pray into this and specifically start with praying for strategies because I believe that there is revelation, there is enlightenment that God wants to give us for our times. And there are strategies that we here at the Oasis as a command center, uh, there are strategies we've got to know. And Holy Spirit is the one that helps us understand and know that. And I count on you intercessors to agree with me that uh, those strategies will be given. In fact, here, even in the next month or so, I feel there is a strategy that, that we need to move into. And I'll just be honest, sometimes I know it's time for something, but I don't know what. And I'm at that, I'm at that moment where I know it's, it's, it's time for something. What, what are you steering us into, Lord? We're listening. And we're praying, speak to us, because we want to be on the cutting edge of what God is doing. I know that the pioneers, the, the history makers that pray on Wednesday nights with me, I know that's your heart. Give us your word. Give us your strategy. Help us to move into times that you have ordained. Because I know this, God knows how to do that. And he will do it if we're listening. He will join the pieces together. And I want us to begin to pray that tonight and move into praying and releasing what Holy Spirit is stirring in our hearts. You pray where you're at. Pray for your, your apostolic hubs. Pray for your territories. Pray for our nation. And let's move into this important season and uh, declare we are going to see paths. We're going to see trails, new roads and inroads, and we're going to move forward into a history setting moment. Lord, you said if we would apply ourselves to wisdom and apply ourselves to understanding, you would anoint us and that Holy Spirit would come and he would reason along with us and give us downloads of understanding. We need that for our times. Our times have been darkened by evil. And yet we know that you have a plan. And we're asking you to download that plan to us. We covenant with you to stay flexible to what you have in mind. And to move forward into times that you have ordained for us. And declare the forward again. We will do so, Lord. And so we're inviting you, Holy Spirit, lead and guide these next three months. Lead and guide us in such a way that we move into what has been described as a time of shaking that will lead to reset. And you have circled the month of September and said September is a time when when destiny will begin to be fulfilled in a different way. A shaking will come, but it will cause a reset. Lord, I don't pretend to know what you have in mind, but we declare in Jesus' name, let the shaking come and let the reset come. However you have ordained that to be, whatever you have decided on, we want to be a part of that and on the cutting edge of it. And we declare we will receive understanding to move into that time because you will tell us. I pray, God, that you will talk to the intercessors that are praying with me tonight. Give them dreams, give them visions, give them prophetic unction to pray into this moment. This is a strategic moment. Help me to pray that way, Lord. We ask that 
that we be primed to move into a, a, a calendar month that you've circled, you put your finger on and said, let the reset come. You're moving towards reset. And Lord, we just pray that that comes and, and, and you are going to move the, uh, those that are evil and expose evil out of our land. The puppets are going to be exposed. Lord, I pray for strength. You have told us over and over, do not fear. Um, be of good courage. Don't worry about the shaking. You're not a part of the shaking. You're a part of a kingdom that can't be shaken. I pray for, for those that are listening tonight and those that, that are listening to the broadcasts uh, of the hub and, and our Sunday morning service that there be no fear. Lord, we have prayed that you would expose evil and you are doing so. Why should we fear because you are doing that. Why should we complain if evil is exposed? We've prayed and prayed almost every Wednesday night for two years that you would do it. No, Lord, we thank you that you are exposing evil and you are going to destroy it and destroy that kind of leadership off of us. And you're going to give us leaders that have your heart. That's what you promised. We believe your promise, Lord. And so we pray that, that awakening and reformation that you said is to now begin to move forward, accelerate. Holy Spirit said he would accelerate it into the time of great shaking that resets. And so, Lord, we pray for reformation to begin and accelerate in Jesus' name. Revival, begin to accelerate in Jesus' name. You have also said you're going to cause the pioneers to rise, reformers to rise. Those who are, are heroic and courageous um, will, will rise. The bold ones will go into the wilderness and prepare the way. And I pray for that kind of boldness to rise in the body of Christ. Let great boldness come upon those you have called forth as pioneers in this, in this time. Pray for boldness on the apostles to declare your word. I pray for boldness to come on the prophets to declare your word, the pastors, the prophetic intercessors, the teachers, the evangelists. May great boldness come upon us to declare exactly what you say. Not compromise it, not add to it, but say it as you say it. May we be those that arise as courageous ones for such a time as this. We do pray for the presidential election and those that are running for office. Though it's a year and a half away, we believe that you can move through, uh, through the nation. You can move in favorable ways and ordain those that you have in mind. And uh, you can do that in the Senate races, the House races, and in the presidential election. And we declare, Lord, our heart is you ordain the leaders of the land. You place your anointing upon them and remove those, remove those that do not have your heart. And Lord, even this past week, I believe you have shown me that you're about to remove those, uh, some that do not have your heart. You're going to move, remove them from the, um, this election process. I don't know what you have in mind, but I pray it. Let the will of the Lord be done. Remove those from this process that you have lifted your anointing from and you have said no to. You did that for King Saul and said, I've rejected him. I heard you say just a few days ago that you have spoken rejection to some. Lord, let that be seen very clearly and remove them. We say yes to that. Uh, we, we, 
we join ourselves in agreement with who you reject, we reject in Jesus' name. We pray, God, that there come a confusion. You said you would send confusion to our adversaries. Send confusion to those that are attacking our values, attacking Christian values, attacking the real church. Confuse them, Lord, so that their efforts are unsuccessful. Give us boldness to raise our voice in such a way that a belief system based on your word is stood for in our nation and in our world. And that belief system is passed on to the coming generation. You have also promised, Lord, that this will be a time, this reset time will be a time of resetting the hearts of prodigals. And I believe, Lord, these next few months, you are connecting them. You're using the angels that are assigned to their life to connect them to destiny decisions and people that will speak into their life in ways that will speak into their life and that you will reset them into their purpose and, their, and the plans you have for them. Reset this nation, Lord, as you have ordained. We, we thank you for the words that you have given to us. We thank you for the messages that are encouraging us to move forward and to declare the forward. And we arise to do exactly that. Continue to give us uh, those that will come our way to declare the present word of the Lord. I pray for breakthrough events that you have said are coming our way. Breakthrough events and suddenly loose them, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. And you said there would be the reset coming into individual lives. I pray for those that are praying with me this night that may need that in their individual lives. Perhaps they need a reset uh, in their in their homes, in their families, in their marriage, a reset of finance, a resetting in their vocations. But it's a reset to move forward into a new time and a new place. Supernaturally, Lord, begin to move on their behalves. You have promised that this is, this is the moment and that these Next three months, June, July, and August, you will be moving on their behalfs so that they can move into a, a new time and place. And I pray that even, even those that have may, may have been in a dark journey for quite some time, you, Lord, supernaturally are moving on their behalf. Let hope arise that their God is, is moving on their behalf. And I declare my faith with them. Reset is coming. New times are coming. You're moving into milk and honey. Just like God says. Resources. Your homes are being um, blessed. Jobs are being blessed. I pray for, for pastors, for churches. You've been in that season where you've been fighting and fighting and fighting. But move now into great times. Let hope rise in you. I feel that tonight. Uh, let hope rise that, that this June, July, and August, something's rising inside of you. And this fall, you're moving into times that you, you've prayed for. And it's all reset for you. Why? So that as a reset church, as a reset individual, your life's reset. You are moving into um, the times to as a pioneer for King Jesus. Help us reset this nation. And so we decree these things tonight, Lord. And we believe you are hearing us when we pray. We believe the decrees that we've been making for years now are coming to pass. And we believe that the great reset time is coming our way. I want to give you these decrees. This is from a book I wrote called Planting the Heavens. It's, a, it's on words and prayers and declarations. I think it's one of my favorite books, really. I really enjoyed writing this, and I, I use it all the time. But hear this decree. We decree that we are receiving fresh power 
from an open heaven. Enabling power, come. Creative power, come. Tipping point power, come. Wonder working power, come. Miracle working power, come. Ruling and reigning power, come. Power of God, come to us. We declare it is upon us corporately and individually. We declare God's seed in us is activating itself in us right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen. Thank you for praying with me tonight. Continue to pray and decree these things. Again, listen to the hub pray it decree when you hear dutch say something decree that answer it amen yes let's decree these things let's be watchmen that pray them and uh let's see the great times god has in mind for us accelerate bless you and we will talk to you more sunday morning <laughs>